2023 was a great year in terms of car releases. We're going to introduce to a lot of great and exciting cars coming up in the future. But we also lost a lot of great cars. So that's why, ladies and gentlemen, in this video are top 9 great cars that died in 2023. But before we get started, I would like you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Do me a favor and watch the video to the end. And if you like it, then go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. And with that said, thank you for tuning in and let's get started. On the number 9 spot, we have the Maserati Quattroporti, first released on the 30th of October 1963, and since then, Maserati has made over 75,000 units of the Quattroporti. It's a really, really good car, and it's one of the best good cars out there, but why did Maserati stop making it? Well, Maserati said they believe that the car has reached the end of its life cycle, and they want to focus more on their newer models, and it's quite understandable. On the number 8 spot, we have another Maserati, the Maserati Ghibli, first introduced in 1967 and since then there has been 3 generations of the Ghibli and just like the Quattro Porti, Maserati said they believe it has also reached the end of its life cycle and they have to focus more on their newer models so they have to kill off the Quattro Porti and the Ghibli. <laughs> On the number 7 spot on the list, we have the Acura NSX. First introduced in 1990 and since then, the car really became iconic. It became well, well popular and well known in the car industry and among car enthusiasts. Really, really good car, fast and very, very good looking in and out. But unfortunately, in 2023, Acura decided to kill it off. But why? Well, they say this because of the declining sales and they want to focus more on electric vehicles, which is quite sad. On the number 6 spot on the list is the Audi TT. I don't know why, whenever I say Audi TT, it reminds me of the Stratman and a couple others too. I don't know if it's because he was the first person I had to say Audi TT. But aside from that, the Audi TT is a really, really fun car. It's a good value for money car. And the newer models look very, very fantastic. And since it was released in 1998, Audi has sold over 662,000 units of it. And the last unit was manufactured in November 2023. But why did Audi stop making the TT? Well, they said it's because of the decline in sales. Really, really sad. Number 5 on the list is the Dodge Charger. First introduced in 1964 and since then Dodge has made 7 different generations of the Charger and they've sold over 3 million units of the Charger telling you that it did really really good in terms of sales. The car was very very popular among car guys, it became one of the king of the drag strip. It was popping all over the place and people were buying them like crazy. And the last time I checked, it was doing good in terms of sales. So why did Dodge decide to stop making the Charger? Well, Stellantis, their parent company, is more into electric vehicles and they want to reduce the carbon footprint of their cars. That's why they have to kill off the Charger. Lame. Number 4 on the list, we have the Ford GT. Yes, the legendary Ford GT. First released in 1964 and since then, Ford has made 3 different generations of the Ford GT. The car really became iconic and it's one of the first super sports cars that we know of today. Last year, 2023, Ford sold 31 units of it, which is not that bad for a car that cost over $1 million. But why did Ford stop making the GT? Well, what said for the Ghibli and the Quattroporte can be said for the Ford GT. I think the car has come to the end of its life cycle and the Ford GT is a low volume, high cost production car and I don't think Ford will keep on making this car while still maintaining supply of the high demand cars. 
So, why killing off the 4 GT is sad is quite understandable. On the number 3 spot on the list is the Audi R8 Pain. The Audi R8 is one of the best supercars ever made and it still stands till today. It was first introduced on the 30th of September 2006 and since then this car became so so popular among car enthusiasts. It performed really good, it looked really really good, it's one of the revolutionaries of car design early in 2000s and since then this car has been killing it ever since. So it's going to be a very very big kill off especially for car enthusiasts like me and though I haven't seen it or driven it in real life but I've seen a lot of content online about the R8 and I can tell it's really really beloved and in terms of sales it did really really good and it's a good value for money car it serves you right and you get a lot of fun from it some people go as far as to call it a cheap version of Lamborghinis and to some extent they are right though they are not cheap but they are not as expensive as their counterparts it did really really good in terms of sales so why did Audi stop making the R8? well they didn't mention specifically the reasons but it's clear that they want to focus more on electric vehicles so they had to kill off the R8 and maybe they might even come up with an electric version of the R8 which is going to be disappointing and sad On the number 2 spot we have the Dodge Challenger. Man, in 2023, they were just giving us pain upon pain. The Dodge Challenger is one of the best cars of all time and is the face of muscle cars. And in 2023, Dodge decided to stop making it. It was first introduced in 1969 and since then there has been 3 generations of it. People really love this thing and are buying it like crazy. It's popping all over the place just like the Charger. And in terms of sales, in 2022, they were the best selling muscle cars in the market, selling 55,000 units. And currently, it's still doing great in terms of sales. So why did Dodge stop making it? Well, just like I said earlier, Stellantis, their parent company, is more into electric vehicles nowadays. So they've all decided to reduce the carbon footprint of their cars, thus killing off the Challenger and the Charger to achieve it. Lame. Number one on the list is the Lamborghini Aventador and this is going to be the most painful kill off in 2023 and one of the most painful if not the most painful kill off in the past decade. The Lamborghini in my opinion is the best looking car of all time and also in my opinion the best and the greatest car of all time. Like the Aventador, it was unveiled on the 28th of February 2011 and immediately this car became loved and terrorized by millions. This car is the most viewed and the most watched car online on the internet and since then, since when it was released, this car became really really popular and like I said, the greatest and the best looking car of all time. I don't know how many times I'll have to say it but looks, aesthetics, comfort, performance, everything the Lamborghini Aventador has it. So why did Lamborghini have to kill off? The Aventador. 
emission regulations are getting strict and strict so at some point lamborghini would have to comply and this is why i love lamborghini so much lamborghini discontinued the aventador to make a model that they can electrify to meet the emission standard instead of electrifying the aventador or making an electric version of the aventador they discontinued it to make a model that they can electrify to meet emission standard instead of electrifying the Aventador, which is going to be very, very disappointing. Although killing the Aventador is very, very sad, but in this case, we understand what Lamborghini did, and we couldn't be more grateful. <laughs> Conclusion, some of the cars on this list were discontinued due to declining sales. Just like I said earlier, nobody wants to make cars that nobody buys. But killing off a good performing car just, just to reduce carbon footprint to focus on electric vehicles is kind of lame. Like I always say, the world is not going to end just because we are driving gas-powered cars or because people are driving gas-powered cars. No, the world is only going to end after the rapture takes place so why the struggle and why the force live your life drive your car and everybody lives happily electric cars are good they are nice they are part of the future but not entirely the future and that brings us on to the end of the video guys let me know the most painful kill off to you in the comment section down below if you like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more videos and with all that said thank you for tuning in Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace out and stay safe.